What we want to do is start working in that base shape. And then from there, since it's set to multiply, when you begin to paint on top of it, it's going to increase the bright or the darkness of it the more you put onto it, giving you a thicker streak. Now, what I do once I have that, that's good enough for me, I will then go to change my brush back to normal, pick a warm red like around there, not too much, and then create an outline around it. It just gives a little warm streak from the skin and the light touching it. And then I will create a new layer on there. This is to create my light. Now you don't want to go full, full white because no brights are that, or no highlights are that bright. But you know, pick my red, maybe like this, like a very desaturated red. And from there, I can use a normal brush and just begin to put in the little, the little glares that are in there. And that's how I do blood. It's that easy. It's multiply is your friend. So we got blood. Now let me see what else we got. Fur, I have shown that one. It's seriously, it's a brush. There's nothing more, um, but we'll do it right here. Let's say we want to make her skin furry. Uh, we'll do it right on the forehead. So what we want to do is, this is just a brush that I made. It's in my brush pack. And what we want to do is just start working those colors over each other until they start to blend in. Now you want a lighter one since the light's hitting on this side. And I'm just doing it lightly. I'm not holding down on the brush. I'm not slamming it down on there. I'm just tapping it. I'm tapping and dragging just really quickly. And as you can see from there, what you could usually do is you could set that new layer to drop shadow and the shadow will um, add a layer of color behind each little first strand so it'll actually look like it's layered. But uh, for the most part, yeah, look, that's how you do fur. It's a simple brush that I created. Let me show you some other stuff. Scars. There's really nothing to it. Um, let's create one right here. So since our light is hitting us from this angle, coming at this is why we have the highlight right here. Your scar shadow is going to be on this side. Let's take out this eyebrow. Now, obviously this color would not go down here because that's going to look weird. So you make this work in and then you start to fade it out as you get towards the bottom and I'm just color picking and moving deeper. Now, to see the, card, the scar down here, you're going to have to get a little darker. So we go into this. I need a little more skin tone, so I'm going to go a little more saturated. Now you have this right up here, but you need the light to hit it because it's going to create kind of like those little dimples in the sides of the scar. I don't know if that's the right word to use, but we're going to use it. And then from here, what you can do is you create your lighting on the scar. Nothing too crazy. You don't want it to stick out too much and be really obvious. It's going to come up a bit here because it's rounding out towards the eye. We're gonna have a warmer tone, not darker, because the light's hitting it. So you wanna back up a bit on that. And then right here on this top part is where you wanna get in your uh, shadow of the scar. And see, I'm just going very lightly, very lightly, blending them in. And there you go. That's how you paint scars.